Hello and welcome to this Dr. Frost Maths video on doing enlargements. Now in the video on describing enlargements, we saw that enlargement was where we kind of stretch a shape or shrunk the shape, so making it bigger or smaller. And even if we had negative scale factors of enlargement, we could actually flip the shape around the centre of enlargement. So let's use that theory to actually do some enlargements. And we'll go straight into example. Uh, we want to enlarge shape A here by scale factor 2, centre 0, 1, which I've helpfully put in. So you can see 0, 1 here, and we're going to label that shape C. And the way we do it is we always start from the centre of enlargement and count how many squares we're going across and up down to each point on A. So we can see to get from the centre of enlargement here to this point, say here, we're going one square right and we're not going any squares up and down. And all we do is, whatever that count is, we times it by the scale factor. So that one right is going to become two right. So from here, we count two right, it's going to end up here. What about uh, this point at the top here? So we can see counting from the centre of enlargement is going one right and two up. Now if we times each of those by the scale factor of two, the one right becomes two right and the two up becomes four up. So it's two right, four up, it's gonna end up here. And we can join those up so far. Uh, and can we see that the width of the shape is one? So the width of this new shape will be two because it's twice as big because the scale factor is two. And we'll label it C. So we've done the first one. Now we want to enlarge A by scale factor minus one about that same center. So we do exactly the same thing. It doesn't make a difference the fact this is a negative scale factor or we've got fractional ones later. We just look at distance to say this point here, so it's one right, and the one right we times by what minus one. What's one times minus one? Well, it's minus one. So we're now going minus one squares right, which is the same as one left. So in fact, this one right becomes one left. So you can sort of see why it flips over. What about here to here? So it's two right times that by the scale factor of minus one, that becomes minus two right, which is two left. So it's now here. And then finally, counting from the centre of enlargement, zero, one, to this point here, it's one right and two up. We're timesing those by minus one, which flips it. So the one right becomes one left, the two up becomes two down, it's here. So we can see this one is actually a rotation by 180 degrees about that centre there. So we're labelling this one D. Right, these last two here, enlarge shape B by scale factor half centre 4 minus 3. So let's put the centre of enlargement in first, 4 minus 3 is here. And let's count in the same way, so scale factor half, let's start with this point first. So counting from the centre of enlargement, it's 2 right and 2 up. Now if we times those by half, that becomes 1 right and 1 up, so that ends up here. But it's not flipping this time because we don't have a negative scale factor. What about this point here? That's 2 right and 2 down, that becomes 1 right and 1 down because 2 times half is 1, it's here. And then finally this point here, that's 4 right and 2 up, becomes 2 right and 1 up, so it becomes here. And we get this shape here, so we're labelling that one E. And then finally, enlarge B by scale factor minus 1.5, the same centre. So, we go to this point again, it's 2 right and 2 up. Now if we times those by minus 1.5, 2 times minus 1.5 is minus 3. So the 2 right becomes 3 left, remember that when we have a negative scale factor it flips, and the 2 up becomes 3 down, so 1, 2, 3, so it's kind of off the page here, and we've got this point here. Uh, next point is there, so that's 2 right, 2 down, 2 times minus 1.5 is minus 3, so it comes 3 left and 3 up, it's here. And then finally this point here, we've got um, 4 right and 2 up, 4 times minus 1.5 is minus 6, so it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and the 2 up becomes 3 down, we saw, so it's down here. And then if we just join those up, we get this shape here and we're going to label that F. And there we go. So we can see the negative scale factor flips it over around this centre of enlargement, and the fact scale factor sort of minus 1.5 means it's 1.5 times bigger, so it's going to be slightly bigger, so we can see this width of 2 is now becoming a width of 3, so that looks right.